Here's the tail of the tape of this kickboxing match. We got Andrew Gibson, 0 and 1, age 41. Love this, 5'8", 68 in the reach. Weight at 154.5, identical to our man, Mr. Cream House, 154.5. Reach 72, four inches reach advantage. Height is the same at 55.8, uh, and the age of the tender, age of 36, making his debut. All right, here we go. Nice inside leg kick already there by Gibson. Massive power coming from Kareem. Ooh, nice jab. Wow, he just ate those punches like it was a knuckle sandwich. Man, Kareem is coming with massive power to start round one. Oh. Love that combo there that by was Gibson. A beautiful setup by Gibson. Gibson is very composed, though. Very, very composed. Oh, beautiful technique from these gentlemen here. Let's see how the, the clinch was. Very downs. Coming in between the fighters. Great start of this fight. This is a fantastic fight. Oh, beautiful there by Gibson. Oh. House's jab is just dynamite. It is, but you know, Gibson is doing a fantastic job of getting underneath that right hand. There he got caught, but if you watch him, he dips his head right underneath the right hand. It's, it's beautiful. Man in the clinch in the middle of the ring. Downs is going to break it up here. 30 seconds left of round one. Oh. Massive body shot there by House. Beautiful body shot. But he, Gibson's return. Gibson came right back, stepped right into the fire, is not at all uh, intimidated or, or discouraged by, by, these, by the power. Great opening round of this kickboxing match. Here we go, second round. Oh, that right hand. Look at Shik No. Beautiful one, too, here from. Back great into the clinch with both men here. Yes, great clinch work by both gentlemen here in utilizing that. And it's odd, usually for me, Pearl, it seems like so far even tonight, the clinch work happens in the corner. When one fighter gets pushed to the side, these men are getting clinched inside the middle of the ring. Yes. Of space. Well, in traditional Muay Thai, it is. You tip, oh, beautiful sweep. Beautiful sweep. I'd like to see how the judges score that, because in Thailand, that's a huge, huge, that head kick almost, yeah, almost landed. I think it's like a takedown. It is. It's a. It's a. It's a huge uh, moment. Right. In in a fight, and uh, they scored. It's it's one of the highest scoring um, techniques that you can have is sweeps and, and clinch work. Actually. Gibson, the pace pushing it to Kareem House. Actions right in front of us. Big separation. Let's go. Nice job here with this clinch oh, Nice here. knee to the body there by Gibson. I love that that plum that, that Gibson is utilizing. Very Anderson Silva type. Yes. One world championship using that. Sorry to all the Anderson Silva fans out there. They are watching Andrew Gibson and they said, oh shit, he just said Anderson Silva the same breath. I'm sorry, I, I take that back. 10 well, seconds just, left here. He's you, when you're in the tight clinch, you're so close, right? You're, you're, there's no distance, but he's doing a fantastic job of creating space in a very, very tight situation. And that is what I mean by right. he's doing a great job of utilizing his clinch. All right, round three, here we go. Last round. Oh, nice strike there by House. House has fantastic straight punches. Oh! Oh, it's like four right hands in a row right now. And 
Gibson is just eating these shots. Pins made out of Mike Perry granite steel. There he goes. He's doing a great job immediately. He's got to keep those straight punches going. Gibson's having such a hard time dealing with them. Just, just keep them out there. They don't have to be hard, just right. like that. Just straight down the pipe. That's the thing I've learned most as a commentator, talking to so many mixed martial artists through the day. Like, you don't have to throw it 100% all the time. You shouldn't almost. You should be throwing it 50, 70, 50, 70. And then when you throw in 100%, you're ready. You got more power in it. And almost as a fighter, the fighter, it's, whoa, I just got hit harder than expected. Well, you have to think about majority of your shots are probably not going to land. Right. Oh, beautiful right hand to right kick. That is a gorgeous combination and setup. But most of your punches and strikes are not going to land. You call them typically throwaway strikes. And let's say if you throw three or four strikes, you're throwing three throwaway to land one shot. Right, right, right. So you don't really want to throw. You want to find. You want to distant. You want you want to target. Find the target before you actually throw hard shots. House of knees. House of knees to the body. Kareem has done a really great job of taking over this fight here in this third round and really, really imposing his will and, and showing that he wants to win this fight. Let's see if, if... 15 seconds left of this fight. Gibson can do something amazing. And I mean, he did such a great job in the first two rounds of this fight. But... There's the bell of round number three. Much respect to both fighters, Kareem House and Andrew Gibson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge number one scored at 29-28 for Gibson. Judge number two scored about 29-28 for House. And judge number three has scored about 29, 28 for your winner by split decision. From the red corner, Andrew Gibson. How you doing, Pensacola? I am here with your winner, Andrew Gibson. Andrew, are you at all surprised by that decision? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. He chased my ass, but I got my vote. I tried to walk it back, but I, I'll be real with you guys, but hey, I appreciate the honor to House, man. He was a hell of a fighter. Ten times stronger than I thought he was going to be. But uh, yeah, I'm honored to be here with you guys. I'm on a good show for you. You did a fantastic job in the first and second round, and really utilizing your tie clinch and the kicks and ducking under the right hand. Was there anything that surprised you with his offense? Yeah, he was really strong on his feet. I was hoping I could get in there and work some technique and get him off balance and do some combos off of that, but he was really based, so you know, like I said he had that strength that just kind of took me a little bit by surprise, but but yeah, so I just stuck to what I could do. Well, it was a fantastic fight. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner!